Isn't it a wonderful sight? My cows frolicking in the meadow. This makes me so happy. For 87 years, this farm has been run by my family. From my great-grandparents William and Agatha, to my grandparents Harry and Anne, to my mom and dad. I'm glad to have decided to start producing cultivated meat on my farm. Everyone, so when talking about scaling cultivated meat, I think it's important to understand that a lot of the conversations are happening in large startups. Why is that important? Well, they're given a lot of VC money. And as some of you have pointed out in the comments, of course, they're going to talk this up because they want to generate more VC money to keep funding their business model. Two, the technology is still really early days. And so we need these initial innovators to develop cheaper technology. So as we've seen, for example, with the Good Meat Saga, we can't spend half a billion dollars on a meat production plant. That's just not practical. And so they were trying to say, well, we need to build bigger and bigger, bigger bioreactors in order to scale the technology. Then, as we saw with Powell Bio, seems like we can actually fix this larger size issue by just building better bioreactors. So we need a lot of innovation to happen in terms of these technologies. But then we also need more innovation to happen on the business model side. So a lot of these startups are wanting to scale factories. So Believer Meats, we saw, announced a factory. We saw Upside Foods announce a factory. And we're going to have a lot of individual companies trying to start meat factories that maybe produce a good chunk of meat. But if you actually want to scale cultivated meat, you need to look at, well, who's actually making our food today? Last time I checked, farmers. You're not going to possibly scale the technology unless you get farmers on board. And we might already have the ideal bioreactor size. We just need to make them cheaper. But if you start building technology for farmers so that they can grow their own cultivated meat, it's going to be a lot easier to sell this technology. Because right now, in a lot of the media, you have a lot of fear. You have countries even banning cultivated meat because they're afraid it's going to take away their meat industry. Really, cultivated meat is just a new production method for making meat. And if you just sell new production technology to farmers, that sounds like you could solve a lot of the scaling challenges that way. Turns out there's a Dutch startup, Respect Farms, that's currently working on this problem. I think it's fascinating, and I think this is really going to be a big move in a number of years' time. Cultivated meat was originally designed for farmers to make their production methods more efficient. So in the long term, if we're talking about this idea of, well, we need to replace cows, then I think what naturally follows is, yes, you're still going to have some of these startups who are successful, and they'll have meat factories, and they'll be meat producers. But I think there's going to be an entire industry created to sell production technologies to farmers. I've managed the company for the last 15 years. Not everything has gone smoothly. There were several bumps in the road and I frequently had to adapt our business model. But every time I go to work, I feel sheer joy. I wouldn't give up this place for the world. The changes in society and in the market caused me to worry about the future of my business. But when I met Ara and Ralph, I saw a new opportunity. Alles goed? Ja, zeker. Nu een goede reis gehad. And now I'm glad to have decided to start producing cultivated meat on my farm. The concept to have farmers to be able to work with cultivated meat will require support for those who want to get into it to show them how things can be done. This is how to organize it, these are the resources you need, to create a sort of ready-to-use concept, depending on what is already there and what you will be able to connect to it. And that is what we are trying to bring together. Growing cultivated meat is actually very simple. It is meat that grows in a bioreactor. I take a tiny sample of tissue from one of my cows. Subsequently, we place this in a liquid media in the reactor. In this reactor, we simulate that the cells are inside the cow, which makes them multiply and grow. Well, what we see that there's a lot of discussion going on about food transition. And ultimately, it's the farmers who produce our food. 
And also those farmers have an interest in it being done in an adequate way, with a quality and tasty product. And it ties in their future and business model, how they create value and make money. So for them, it's a matter of urgency to be committed within this transition. The concept of producing meat in a different way and growing as a business has opened my eyes. I'll be able to produce more meat annually while keeping fewer cows. And they don't need to be slaughtered. The farm is a smart location to grow cultivated meat because all you need is already there. Of course, cultivated meat requires animals and cells, both of which can be found there. And you need people who know how to handle them. And there are people working there familiar with following processes and who know how to deal with hygiene. But you also need energy and they have a place to generate it. And farmers can certainly play a role in feeding the cells. And they can also play a role in recycling and waste management. So why wouldn't we do it in a place like that? The plans are becoming more tangible. It is great to work with a variety of experts who are helping me to make the farm ready for the future. Hey, hey, good morning. Hey, you're from Lineke. Yeah. Lineke, the architect, will be designing the new layout for my stable. She made a plan with a process technologist to suit the stable for cultivated meat production. While designing the renovation of the stable, we mainly look at how to use the equipment area required for the meat production in the most efficient way. The walkways between the different functions are most important here. Hygiene is of the utmost importance. Okay. And that can you also very well schoonmaken. And additionally, the required technical installations must be placed. And it must all be fitted efficiently in the current stable. Yeah, five meter. Five meter. There is not one stable specifically suitable for producing cultivated meat. It is the architect challenge to make a stable suitable for meat production. It is, for instance, easier to have the piping run above your head in one stable, while in a different stable it should be passing below. But there is always a solution. In addition to the design of Farmer Teun, we also made a design for a dairy farm. And currently we are working on a proposal for a pig farm. The equipment and working process are the same for every stable. We look at the available space and create an as optimal as possible design. The design is so smartly devised and I thank Lineke for involving me in the design process. You enter via the control room, where you can monitor the entire process. And then you proceed to the hygiene lock. The hygiene lock will lead you to the production area. Depending on the production area size and height, an X number of bioreactors are installed, which may also vary in height. Adjacent to the production area, there is a space for the feed of the raw materials an installation room, and when harvesting meat from the bioreactor, it is brought to the packaging area, which is also refrigerated. We basically link turn to the people and technologies that are required to turn this farm into a location where ultimately cultivated meat can be produced. The renovation went quicker than anticipated. And the cultivated meat process is in fact rather simple. I still supply meat and have been able to expand my sales market. We are convinced that the most sustainable meat comes from a farm. Because it's cultivated meat with all its benefits and also produced in a local circular chain. That is an opportunity we have to take now. This is the moment to show that at this scale it can offer economic and ecological benefits. My working day is virtually the same as before. I check how the ladies are doing. I look after the crops required for feeding the cells. 
Ja. Moet je dat stuk nog doen of werk ja, je dan? Ja, ga je op GPS. And sitting at the kitchen table, I watch the cells grow. It's time to harvest. It is still very special that I'm now able to supply more meat from fewer animals. Many buyers, like most chefs, are local to my area. And the hamburgers they produce are very tasty. It is nice that the region appreciates you for what you do. I could not have predicted a brighter future some years ago. But look at this now. My cows stay with me for longer. The business is more prosperous than ever. And isn't it amazing that I'm still farming on the same spot as my grandpa William once did? Imagine that. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.